Howdy, y'all. There's an awful lot more of you than normal. Allow me to introduce myself for those unfamiliar. I am everybody's favorite Lovecraft, P.H. Lovecraft. For those who aren't aware, when Howie shuffled back onto this mortal coil, it seems he got a buy one, get one free deal, and I came along with the package. I'm his duplicitous double, his diabolically dapper doppelganger, his brother from another mother of a thousand young. I'm the pain to his able, his buddy love, Stefan Urkel, and Mr. Hyde all rolled up into one delicious package. And normally I don't bother myself with his um, little goings-ons, but from time to time, to amuse myself, I do like to intercept his mail, and boy oh boy did I find the jackpot today. You see, every now and then folks send books to Howie to peruse, but I like to get my mitts on them first. In this case, it was Bobby Deary's Sex and the Kathy Lulu Mythos. I know how to pronounce it, but I prefer mine. Now, when this came to the mail slot, my heart trembled. I leaped to a grab it, grabbed myself a hot toddy, and sat down for what I thought was going to be a salacious evening, but to my chagrin, there is not one solitary picture in this whole book. Instead, what I'm left with is this nuanced, complicated look at a man who's come into terms with his own sexuality in his letters, in his writings, in a changing world he can barely understand. It's a, an academic treatise trying to open up a conversation about how we think about Howie and his, um, well, views on things. Which is to say, as interesting as it might be for scholars or people who think that Howie is in any way interesting, for those of us looking for something a little dirtier, it is of no use. So I guess I'll just have to go back to my old smutty standbys. <laughs> oh, Grover, you delectable tease, you. As always, I'm P.H. Lovecraft. Y'all stay bad now.